Hey guys, welcome to this new week. I am so excited to be with you today because I have a really important aspect to talk about with regards to patience versus repetition and how it all plays into mastery. Now, you and I both know that we are living in a world that's very much all about instant gratification, constantly being distracted with new things, constantly people signing up for new courses and new places and new teachers and mentors and coaches and everything. It's like this constant machine that's just picking up speed and in the process what I'm observing is a real loss of mastery. And I was thinking about it this weekend and really just going over my mind and my own personal journey and seeing why is it that I have this insatiable um, desire to constantly just improve and go deeper into things. And more importantly, why I don't seem to be getting bored with everything else that everybody else is getting bored with on a daily basis. And what I've come to realize is that when I started dancing at the age of six, I very quickly picked up the fact that there were some basic movements like a plie at the bar that was done by us as brand new little ballerinas in our little pink shoes and tutus that were standing at the bar so proud, hardly being able to turn out our feet. And then when you looked at the prima ballerinas of the world, they were still executing these same movements on a daily basis, on a daily basis, on a daily basis, even though they had decades of practice under their belt, they still had to get to the bar, they still had to do their plies, they still had to focus on how they extended their arms and the way that they placed their fingers. You could see the focus and the concentration, even in the bending and ensuring that the knees go out backwards, really activating all of the muscles. The pointing of the toes had to be done just right to create that beautiful long line. And that's when I realized that it's not about um, being patient when you're an artist. It is about being so dedicated to, to the art form that the micro pieces, the micro movements, the micro habits matter enough for you to being willing to practice it on a daily basis, understanding that there are some core principles, actions, things that get executed that never change, but that form the real foundation, that very deep foundation on which you are building. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, for instance, you need to give yourself permission to practice certain things on a daily basis for the rest of your entrepreneurial journey. It's not about constantly going out and finding the next little thing and to try it all out. Yes, we all experiment. Yes, we all get to explore what's available to us at the moment and we all get to stay up to date. But the foundational pieces, you guys, never change. And these are the things like your entrepreneurial competencies, you know, how you think, your mindset, your habits, your willingness to experiment, your willingness to fail, your willingness to keep picking yourself up and keep going, your willingness to be focused on the value that you are providing to the world. But then there's also the money practices and the sales practices and the marketing practices. All of these pieces have to receive attention every single day. Not because of a, oh my God, the world's going to come to an end when I don't do them. But because you're so dedicated to your art of entrepreneurship, the art of your business, the art of your service or your product, that you do it from love. You do it from an absolute appreciation of being able to come and do this every single day. There's no um, hardship in practicing the basic movements in any art form. It warms you up for everything else. It prepares the canvas for what's coming next. But it does take a specific mindset for you to drop into the appreciation of understanding the importance of repetition. So one of the programs that I created to really help, especially entrepreneurs, practice this from a mindset perspective is 
called squats and it's literally a 30 day five week program it's more than 30 days because we do some preparation but it's a five week program that helps you to become the woman that does 250 consecutive squats within that period and it's about constantly conditioning and building on and repeating the same things same journaling prompts same execution same kind of patterns of behavior so that you can recondition yourself to really be strong in that. So if that is something that you're interested in, then I'll drop the link down below for you guys. And you can also find it in my bio. It's directionu.co forward slash squat. It's only $99 for five weeks, really deep work. And it is about understanding the mind-body connection and how as entrepreneurs, so often we forget to use the body to train the mind. But honestly, my friend, it is the fastest way for you to become more resilient, more focused, more in the zone is by actually incorporating the body practices into your mindset work. So that is definitely something that I would highly recommend. And especially at this time of the year, why wouldn't you want to get your body into superb space and shape in order for you to go into the new year feeling really, really strong physically, mentally and emotionally. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What are the daily practices that you have in place that you just do every single day, not from a space of fear, but from a space of an appreciation of the power of repetition and what it is preparing you for next. I know for me, definitely journaling is on that list. Um, I never miss training a single day, not because of the physical benefits of training, which of course it does have multiple of, but for me, it's really about the mental benefits that I receive from training. So. Yeah, my mornings look pretty much the same. It's always about journaling. It's always about meditation, um, intention setting, doing my training, taking my dogs for a walk. During the walk, I listen to an audio book. So everything in my life very much looks boring for most people, but it's because I understand the power of repetition and what it actually prepares me for. So let me know in the comments how that is going in your life. What are some of the things that you'd love to share with us as a community that we could maybe start practicing as well and bring in the benefit of that. And if you are a business woman and you are looking for a space where we do business like women, not like men, then unapologetic is definitely something I want to invite you into. You can come and be my guest for free for the first meeting. Um, again, you can just DM me for the link for that, or you can have a look at web, my website, directionu.co uh, forward slash unapologetic. Definitely a space that you want to be in. All right, you guys, have an amazing day further wherever you are in the world. And never forget, you get to live your legacy unleashed, unlimited, and unafraid. I'll chat again to you soon. Take